Hey Joe Berg, hope you guys are doing well. So, um, it is No Confidence Day and protests have broken around all over Johannesburg. We've got protests out in Soweto, out in the south, um, all the way down in Sunspray. And obviously I'm heading off to one now. There's one in Joburg Central in Bramfontein that I'm going to go head off and go have a look at and see what's happening. Um, we will bring you this news as it obviously breaks throughout the day and as the No Confidence vote happens, there's sure to be a lot more of this depending on which way it goes. Okay, Joburg, we are live in Bramfontein where supposedly there were protests this morning. We had the garage just across the road from where it was happening. I've been chatting to the guys at the garage to get some more information as to what happened because obviously they were here. And it looks like there is actual no protests. There's no people behind. There's no one here. There's no protests physically happening in Joburg. Um, there is debris on the road, so it looks like what is happening, and I spoke to Wayne Minnar from JMPD a little bit earlier today, and he says what's happening is it looks like it's someone that's just driving around and setting up barricades and protests, I mean, barricades and blockades around the city. So there's no physical, actual blockade here in the city. So people don't have to worry too much about coming into Joburg. The traffic is a little bit worse, um, obviously, because people go to drive around. I'm going to show you kind of the roads here as we go and have a walk around but yeah no need to worry about coming into Joburg um, it's another day as usual well, as as usual as it can get for a day when we're having a no confidence vote but yeah no physical protest in Joburg Central so feel free to come in um, I'm going to show you basically if I can get this to switch around so that's basically the scene in Joburg so what happened is there were burning tires and, and rubbish and stones and stuff were set up on the streets of the city. There we go, burning tires, etc. This has all been cleared away already by JMPD this morning. So once again, like I said, no physical protests in the city at the moment. Um, yeah, just more sort of like rubble and burning tires etc that have been set up we are where are we now corner of Jorison I think um, just before the Mandela Bridge um, we also we did get foot, uh, footage from the police uh, from the petrol station so we will release that footage a little bit later on today so there we go police presence in the city we're going to take a walk up to the next uh, corner as well we can have a look up there, but basically, yeah, let's get down here. You guys can have a look. It's basically just rubbish that's been set up in the city. And no physical, actual protests. Jump out the road here so I don't get wiped out. So basically, just another day in Johannesburg. Um, so as you can see, traffic flowing as per normal in the city. No issues really, actually the traffic looks a little bit better than it normally does. But there you can see yeah, rubble and stuff that's just been set up on the roads. Obviously it's been cleared up by JMPD already. Wiggle our way through here. Some more barricades and stuff that were set up on the streets a little bit earlier on today. But yep. No need to worry, you can head into the city, it's basically just another day in the city. We will keep our eyes and ears obviously on the ground. Okay, so that's kind of part of the game. Uh, we've rushed all the way into Joburg Central and there's nothing really happening. It looks like it was a false alert, um, but that's part of the game, that's part of what we do. You know, we've got to take the reports that we get seriously and go rushing off to places and sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't. Over to our magazines division quickly to chat about a new idea I've got for a little coffee culture chat that we're going to be doing in Joburg. Um, we always have to keep our eyes open for different cool things that we can do and obviously things that will generate revenue because this is a business, you know, it's not just about the news, it's about making money because there's no money being made that means that none of us have jobs. So a quick little in and out of the office, I'm heading back home now to take 
an hour or two off and maybe perhaps learn how to use this thing um, before the no confidence vote a little bit later on. So yeah, it's going to go chill for a little bit because it's kind of been working hard for the last couple of weeks, um, taking weekends and everything. So yeah, I'm going to go spend some time with the kids. I'm actually sitting at the garage down the road from my house now, I'm just taking a five minute little lunch break. Um, haven't had a chance. My phone hasn't stopped ringing, um, there's messages about the vlog and all sorts of stuff and people wanting me to come and do some stuff and talk to people and interview people and so I just needed, you know, five minutes to myself, turn my phone off and I'm just going to chill here and yeah, just breathe a little bit. It's been a bit crazy the last couple of weeks. Hey Joburg, we are live on the streets, um, news coming just out of Cape Town now that President Jacob Zuma has just survived. His eighth no confidence vote. We're going to bring you some opinions, chat to some people here live on the streets just to find out exactly what their thoughts are on what has just happened. Let's see if we can get some people to chat to us. Hi, sir, how are you doing? Um, I don't know if you know, but uh, President Zuma has just survived another no confidence vote in Cape Town. Uh, we're doing a live broadcast just to kind of get the feeling of what people are thinking about it. What do you think about that? Well, I was expecting. Do you think it's good though? I mean, think about it, um, opposition. It looks like 30 of the ANC guys voted against him. Do you think we're getting a little bit closer? I think so. Um, I think so. Do you, do you, where do you think we're going to move forward from this place? Uh, do you think we're just going to sit and watch? More pressure. More pressure? Yeah. More pressure moving forward? Yeah. I'm going to fall eventually. Awesome stuff. Thank you so much for your time. Sure. Great stuff. Yeah. Okay, we are going to see who else we can find to chat to us. As we head inside here, let's see if we can find some more people to chat to us. How's it, guys? How are you doing? Good, good. We're just streaming live. Um, I don't know if you guys have heard, President Zuma has just survived another no confidence vote in Cape Town. I just want to get your opinion on it. What do you think? Is it a good thing, bad thing? Good thing. Bad thing. <laughs> Right, we're going to see if we can get some more comment from people on the streets here in Joburg to see what they're thinking. Hi, how are you doing? Hi. Cool, I don't know if you've heard, um, President Jacob Zuma has just survived another no confidence vote down in Cape Town. We're just trying to get some reaction from people on the streets as to what they're thinking. What are, you, what are your thoughts on this? Well, I think it should kind of be an obvious choice. Um, you know, I'm pretty happy about that. No matter who you are. Awesome stuff. Cheers. Cool, guys, thank you so much. Right, let's see who else we can chat to. Hi ma'am, how are you doing? I'm not sure if you've heard, um, we've just found out from Cape Town that President Zuma has survived another no confidence vote. Um, just trying to get some opinion off the people on the street because we are the people that actually matter. What are your thoughts on it? Well, they might have just destroyed the whole AMC doing that. I wonder if people will invert for a candidate. Uh, a party that doesn't recognize that its leader is an actual crook. So you think they're just closing ranks just to protect themselves? They're closing ranks to protect themselves, but I think they might destroy themselves in the interim. Well, on the one side, we did have 30 ANC MPs, it looks like, if we do the math, yeah. that did vote against him, but unfortunately, yeah, he did survive, not by a huge margin this time, but by a margin. Yeah, well, the man seems to be invincible, but not for the good, Awesome, thank you so much for your time. Hi, how are you doing? Thank you. Good, good. I'm not sure if you've heard the news, um, news out of Cape Town. Jacob Zuma has just survived another no confidence vote. We just wanted to get some opinion. No comments. No comments. Right, let's see if we can find anyone else to chat to us. Wandering through the shops here. Let's pop into the shop over here and see if these ladies will chat to us. Ladies, how are you doing? Not sure if you guys have heard, but uh, President Zuma has just survived another no-confidence vote down in Cape Town. And we just wanted to get, you know, the feelings of people on the streets. So we're broadcasting live on Facebook. What are your thoughts on this? I think it sucks. You think it sucks? It sucks big time. I thought it was really, like, a terrible place. Awesome. Thank you so much for your time. Heading back outside to see if we can get anyone else to chat to us. So then, final figures while we're looking for people to chat to us, for those of you who don't know, we're looking at 101 people voting, no, 177 for, 
that means roughly 30 people from the ANC would have voted against Puma. Let's see if these ladies are here will chat to us. Ladies, how are you doing? Good, good, good. I'm not sure if you've heard, but um, person Zoom has just survived another no confidence motion in Cape Town. Okay, so that's what your thoughts are. What are your thoughts on this? Um, what, what are you feeling right now that you survived another vote? Awesome, thank you so much for your time, ladies. Right, let's pop down the sun, see if we can get anyone else to give us some comment before we sign off. Hmm, seems to be emptying out a little bit, but maybe we can find one or two more people to comment. There's two gents having. Down here, we'll go to see if they want to chat us. Hey guys, how are you doing? Yeah. Good, good, good. So, yeah, sorry to disturb your dinner, but I'm not sure if you've heard, uh, President Zuma has survived the no confidence vote down in Cape Town, and we just fine. We just wanted to get to the opinion of the people on the streets. What do you guys think about this? Um, so, both lines were pretty close, it looks like about 30 ANC and he's voted against him. But it obviously wasn't enough to, to get him out. What do you think the way, way forward is? Um, do you know, what do you think? Do we just need to keep bashing against this and keep moving forward? Um, yeah, I think you've got to keep the fight back. I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm keep Well, yeah, the guys are already saying on Twitter that, you know, yeah, he's got nine lives and this is number eight, so, you know, maybe next time. Awesome stuff, thanks for your time, guys. Cool, cheers. Right, let's see if we can get one more person to chat to us before we sign off. Hi, how are you doing? Look, 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 not sure if you heard, but uh, President Zim has just survived the no confidence vote in Cape Town. Um, just wanted to get your thoughts, your opinions on that. Do you think it's a good thing, a bad thing? The only thing I can say the future will tell. The future will tell? Yeah. Awesome. 2019. What do you have to say? <laughs> Never mind, you're too young for this. You don't have to worry about it just yet. Awesome, thank you so much for your time. Bye. Okay, so I think we will leave it at that point. That's what the people are feeling on the streets. Um, no negative comments. Uh, I suppose that's where we are. Let's see if these guys want to chat us. Guys, don't know if you heard, but um, President Zuma has just survived another no confidence vote in KCOM. So, Zumi is still president. What are your thoughts about that? <laughs> Do you think it's a good thing, a bad thing? Not a good thing. Not a good thing. And do you think, what, what do you think is going to happen? Do you think there's any way, is, is he just going to have to carry on until his term's over? Uh, I think so. Keep the peace. Keep the peace. Awesome stuff. Thank you for your time. Okay, guys, so that is it from us here in Johannesburg. So we come to the end of another day. Um, a lot of the lessons learned. Make sure your data connection is working properly before you do Facebook Lives. So sorry about that if you had to watch that really slow and, and, and very funny video. I have fixed it for the vlog so you get an idea of what actually was happening. Thank you for following the Facebook Live um, at I think 1,000, 7,800 views already. And we'll see what tomorrow brings. Interesting things. Jacob Zuma survives again. Um, let's see how South Africa deals with this. In the meantime, I'm going to go spend some time with my kids. You have a fantastic evening, and I'll chat to you tomorrow.